Passport Brothers. Before we get started, I want to let the men know not to allow people to scare you. One of my neighbor's wives is from mainland China. She did all the paperwork and got her green card within two years. They got married about five years ago. My other neighbor's wife is from Poland. They got married in the 70s. One of my friends married a girl from Mexico, and he hired a lawyer to do all the paperwork. It cost $2,000, and she got her green card within two years. They got married in the 90s. One of my ex girlfriend's fathers was from Japan, and her mother was black. This was in the 60s. A girl I dated father was Korean American, and her mother was from Poland. They got married in the 70s. Another one of my ex girlfriend's mothers was from Thailand, and her father was black. They got married in the late 60s. One of my managers was from Russia, and her husband is American. They got married about 10 years ago. Many of my high school friends that went into the army married women from Germany. This was in the 80s. Another one of my ex girlfriend's fathers was black, and her mother was from Germany. This was in the 60s. None of these people planned to marry someone from overseas, but it just happened this way. I am 58 years old, so men have been going overseas and getting wives for decades. These people are not stupid, besides the plane tickets, it does not cost a lot. At the end of this video is a link to another video I created that will provide more details. A woman has three kids, she should be looking for a man who's a lot older, who's already... In other words, fellas, the woman with three kids, she looks like a fucking sucker. She done got out, played out, beat out, and laid out. So now she's on her last desperate effort to find a man, so she got to find an older man. And of course, she's going to be feminine, feminine. she's going to be submissive, she's going to be cooperative, because she ain't got a fucking choice. Nobody wants to go out ass with three kids. I'm speaking facts. This whole passport brothers thing in the eyes of black women. Respectfully, good sir. I really don't think that they believe that it's the dudes working at Amazon making 15 an hour that are actively going to do this. I think they are well aware that that's not likely to happen. What they are really fuming about is the same men no longer giving them attention. And it's not necessarily a black woman thing, in my opinion. I've noticed that when I was active duty, white girls who were active duty that got passed around always found a boyfriend who, if they weren't checking for a guy who was active duty, that same guy can get a local Japanese chick and they would give that same guy the dirty fucking looks. So what it really boils down to is women competing for attention and men realizing that they can take their attention elsewhere and they're using whatever they can to keep these men to pay attention in terms of shaming language. I have no interest in dating American women and would rather date foreign women. Let me explain why. It's because the insensitive entitlement in today's society, 75 to 85% of women do not want to be women anymore. They just don't, especially here in America, in the West. Um, I'd rather travel abroad, go overseas, and find a woman that's going to cater to my needs and treat me like a king, rather than suffer here and get treated like trash. Look, I don't care if she's from Germany, Japan, Australia, Croatia, the Philippines, Thailand, I would rather date foreign women than date women here in the U.S. As a man, if a woman asks you to do some shit, the only replies you should have is yes or play games with guys that actually want to be with them and if a girl has slept around and then is going to make you wait it's probably indicative that she doesn't like you that much and the girls that say oh no i love my husband like a lot of times i, I can just feel it they, they love him but they're just not attracted to him not like they were the other guys and as a dude do you want that to be you 
a lot of guys at the end of the day when they're looking for wives when they're looking for long-term partners they just want wives they don't want this whole co-lead co-partner co-parent co-lead a lot of them are not into that now i'm not saying that this means that uh it's going to be like a complete dictatorship <laughs> but um what's going on right now in this culture where men and women are essentially placed in positions to be co-equal uh, a lot of guys just are not interested in that dynamic when it comes to marriage in particular why because the expectations are still for men to do and provide and act in ways that are still very much traditional so it looks like a bad deal it's like i'm still i'm still expected to put my life in the line to make all this money to go and you know do all this work and to provide a safe stable home but now my partner has the freedom to one day be traditional, to another day be modern, to one moment be her in a feminine, to another moment be in her masculine. And it just sounds like a bad deal. It just sounds like a bad deal, quite honestly. And so if this dynamic continues, you know, and there's this constant change in division in the dating and mating market, at least in America, you're going to see more guys probably grab their passports. You're going to see more men go into areas where women are just in their feminine period literally just in their feminine or just literally just happy being wives and there's no question about it you're gonna see that and quite frankly i'm not upset about it i'm not mad at it i said grab your passports but i think it's important to note that yeah there's a lot of guys out there in the day especially if you're wanting a strong alpha male who lead to provide which that is what a lot of women say that they want strong alpha men who lead and provide are not looking for partnerships they're strictly looking for wives and if they can't find it in the States, they're probably gonna grab their passports. And you know what? I'm not mad at it. Only black women celebrate the failure of black men. Unless you're gay. If you're a gay black man, you love. If you're a straight black man, you hate it. These women don't, they don't like black. Listen, they hate you for even existing. And they hate you if you go out and get you, get you a, a woman outside of uh, America. Click subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video.